Hey girlfriends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today, you, yes you, my Instagram fam, actually did my hair today. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you don't follow me on Instagram. Yeah, we're gonna have to fix that right now. So go ahead and follow me at Ms. Bianca Renee. You get daily beauty, hair, whatever tips, funny things happening in my story. It's free of charge and you're probably missing a bunch of giveaways. So like, I really just don't understand why you don't follow me. But for those of you that do and watch my Instagram stories, you saw that I put up a bunch of polls asking what products I should use. So today's video is an Instagram chooses my wash and go products video. So on Instagram, I asked you guys what shampoo I should use, what conditioner I should use, what hair mask, and what styler. And after 24 hours, the results are in. Now I purposely chose products that I have in my curly hair collection that have not been featured on my YouTube channel yet. So the first products that I asked you for was shampoo. The products in the running were the Marc Anthony True Professional Bye Bye Frizz Silicone Free Shampoo, or the Texture by Cantu Apple Cider Vinegar and Tea Tree Soothing Shampoo. 64% of you chose Texture Cantu. Texture by Cantu is one of their newer lines. It's only available at Ulta right now, and this big bottle that's 16 fluid ounces is only $9.99. This is their apple cider vinegar and tea tree soothing shampoo that's supposed to fight dryness and soothe itchiness. Sulfate and paraben free. So let me hop in the shower and show you exactly how I apply the shampoo. So the first thing you might notice is that it has this little nozzle at the top, and this is really good for anything that's supposed to be soothing your scalp. That way you could apply the product directly to your scalp like so. I really like using the nozzle like this. I just feel like it's getting a really direct contact with my scalp. Even though this has apple cider vinegar and tea tree, it actually does smell good. It's giving me like a apple juice with a hint of natural oils, which makes sense. As you can see, it doesn't really bubble up, which is my preference when using a shampoo. It just always makes me feel like I need to apply more, so of course that's what I ended up doing, and I applied it to the rest of my hair. Even though this is like a really scalp-driven product, it does say that it's safe to apply to the rest of your hair. Because we're focusing on my scalp, I did grab my Vanity Planet Scalp Massaging Shampoo Brush. I use this all the time in the shower. It vibrates and helps stimulate hair growth and helps pick up any product build that might be on my scalp. I believe I still have a promo code for this little scalp massage, so I'll put that down below in the description box. After I felt that my scalp was nice and clean, I rinsed it out. The next product I had you choose was my conditioner. The products in the running were the Dollar Curl Club Maintain Gold Collection Hydrating Detangling Conditioner versus the Beauty and Planet Argan Oil and Lavender Smooth and Serene Conditioner. And the winner with 57% goes to Beauty and Planet. Beauty and Planet is available at Target and it's only $6.99. This is actually the most affordable product that you will see me use in my wash day routine. And I was very surprised with the results. The only reason why I haven't done a full wash day routine with all Beauty and Planet products is because surprisingly, even though they strive on like very healthy natural ingredients and it has like all these things that it doesn't include. The shampoo unfortunately has sulfate. I think that's so random because every brand is getting rid of sulfate. Silicone's kind of the one that's harder to get rid of, but their conditioner checks out, but I can't use their shampoo. So this was the very first time that I used it. So let's hop in the shower so I can show you how it worked. So let's use, you know, a good amount of it and let's do a little smell test. It smells interesting it kind of just smells clean you smell that lavender for sure and the argan oil but it does smell good anytime i use conditioner i like to split my hair into two sections and i really smooth and rub the product through my hair after a couple strands i usually could tell if the conditioner is going to work for me and i was very surprised at how moisturizing this conditioner really felt and it had really great slip. So I love being able to find affordable silicone free conditioners that get the job done. I've had this product for a while. I don't know why I haven't tried it yet. So thank you guys for making me try this finally and realizing how great the slip is. After I got through all of my tangles, I then rinsed it out. 
Next up on the chopping block is my deep conditioner that you guys voted on. The product in the running was the Raw Sugar Healing Power Ultra Lush Hair Mask with avocado, banana oil, coconut milk, and honey versus the Carol's Daughter Cocoa Cream Intense Moisture and Softness System Velvet Cream Hair Mask. 54% of Instagram chose Carol's Daughter. So right after I applied my conditioner, rinsed it out, I stayed in the shower, split my hair into two sections, and applied this deep conditioning treatment. The entire Coco Cream Carol's Daughter line is pretty thick. So if your hair needs some serious moisture or you have high porosity hair, I really think you will love the Carol's Daughter's product. It's really, really thick as you can see, so a little goes a long way. It feels super moisturizing and also is great with detangling. The entire Coco Cream line smells so good. It's a very coconut cream smell, like it just smells like coconut cream pie. The Carol's Daughter hair mask is 12 fluid ounces and on their website it says that it's $14. After I applied all the product, I put my hair up in a clip, put it under a shower cap, and then I let it sit for 20 minutes. Now I'm back, I did end up putting my thermal hair care heat cap so I can get some extra heat in my curls so I really get all that moisture and then I rinsed out all the product. Now it's time to add the styler and this was probably the decision that I was most surprised about. The products that you had to choose from was the Lust brand Love Your Curls All-in-One Repair, Hydrate and Style it doesn't even say what this is. It really is a styling cream for curly hair versus the Weedad Vita Curl. And y'all chose with a whopping 57% wanted me to use the Weedad. I was surprised because a lot of you guys have been begging me to review the Lust brand. I'm just waiting for them to send me their shampoo and conditioner, which they are, so hopefully that's coming soon. But I also understand why you might be curious about the Weedad because a lot of these products we aren't allowed to use. But the Weedad Vita Curl Botanical Omega 369 Complex Tress Effect Styling Gel is silicone free. When I got this product in the mail, I was so excited to finally have a Weedad product to use that is silicone free. They actually have about like a handful of products that are sulfate, paraben, and silicone free. I've been asking them to let me know which ones those are, haven't really got a response, but I know they're out there and this is one of them. So before I added my styler, I did grab a microfiber towel and dried off my curls just a little bit so it wouldn't take 10 years to dry. Then I grabbed my Weedad Vitacurl Gel Tress Effects and I applied it like I usually do, smoothing it down each side of my hair and scrunching it back up for more definition. I'm gonna let this air dry and come back when it's about 85% dry. And I'm back and my curls have dried to maybe about 80%, but I gotta go. So I'm gonna start diffusing and see how big my hair can get. I am very, very, very pleased with this Weedad Vita Curl Gel. It really worked amazing. My curls look very soft, hydrated, and the definition is on point. And I'm actually getting pretty good volume for day one hair. This gel really doesn't have a perfect amount of hold to where you still get a little bit of hold to where it's safe to diffuse, but it's not gonna make your hair like hard and crunchy. And today you are looking at my day two hair and I refreshed this morning with the gel again. So this is my results for today. One thing that I personally do with my hair is that I like to listen to my curls. And today they said, we don't wanna do bangs. So I said, okay. So I'm rocking this little side swoop today. Let me know what you guys think. But I am getting some great volume and look. So defined, very soft, not hard or crunchy at all. This is a bomb product. 
Now out of all the products you guys chose for this wash routine, the Weed Ad is the most expensive one. It's 8.5 fluid ounces and it's $26 available at Sephora. The smell of this product is amazing. I think this is probably my favorite smelling product out of the ones you guys chose. It just smells like a rich hair salon. Like, you know when you go to a really nice uppity salon and you're like, wow, everything smells amazing here. It's probably full of silicone, but like it's not. That's what it smells like. Ooh, I love it. I don't have the right words to describe it, but it's bomb. Now, even though I am approving the Weedad Vitacurl gel, does not mean I can approve the entire Vitacurl line, unfortunately. Their gel checks out, their shampoo, and their conditioner, but their styling cream, unfortunately, has silicone. Just a heads up. But there you go, what do you guys think of my results? Thank you so much for helping me choose my wash day routine. That was a really fun video to do. Make sure you guys leave some other video suggestions down below in the comments. Let me know what your favorite product was that I used in my wash routine. Is there any product that you voted for that actually made the cut? Leave all your thoughts below. And before you go, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post two new videos every week, once on Friday and once on Sunday. And you gotta follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee. I have some really big giveaways coming up and I'm really trying to hit 300,000 subscribers by Christmas. That's all I want for Christmas is 300,000 subscribers, which is really just like maybe a thousand people away. You could be the difference. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.